The oil painting market is a complex and dynamic industry that involves a wide range of economic factors. One of the key drivers of the market is the supply and demand of oil paintings, which can vary heavily by individual tastes and market trends. The value and price of oil paintings are influenced by several factors such as the artist's reputation, the painting's quality, and the rarity of the piece. Another significant factor in the economics of the oil painting market is the role of art galleries and auction houses. These institutions play a huge role in the valuation and sale of paintings. They not only determine the value of the piece, but can help establish an artist's reputation and increase the value of their work. Additionally, they provide a platform for buyers and sellers to negotiate prices. Within the oil painting market are two sub-markets. The primary market, where we see the painting directly sold from artist to buyer at the reserve price, and the secondary market, where it is then resold at the maximum price. Each painting is unique and has a downward sloping demand curve with a perfectly inelastic supply curve. Buyers who pay less than they would have therefore create consumer surplus, which incentivizes art dealers to attempt to capture this profit, reselling to those willing to overpay. In the secondary market, its value is defined by auctioneers, curators, and gallery owners. Like any other market, the oil painting market has its own set of costs and benefits that one must consider before investing. One of the most notorious costs associated with oil paintings is their high price. Some pieces can sell for millions of dollars, making it difficult for potential buyers to enter the market and subjecting it to elitism. Another cost is the limited availability of the paintings. Genuine oil paintings are often one-of-a-kind pieces, which means there's a limited supply. And as a result, collectors may struggle to find the works that they want, especially if they're looking for something very rarefied. Lastly, a lack of transparency and inability to price compare due to private sales creates barriers for new buyers to enter the market. 90% of the works sold privately to collectors ultimately end up in warehouses hidden from the public view. All right, so in order to get a better understanding of some of the collections that are hidden from the public eye during private art sales, I came to the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore, Maryland. Behind me is a part of the collection that was acquired by William Walters in the late 1800s and then was then passed down to his son, Henry Walters. And in 1935, he donated this to the city of Baltimore for the enjoyment of the public. In order to combat some of the costs associated with the market, the Walters Art Museum has digitized their entire collection, releasing high-resolution digital images of collection objects into the public domain for any use free of charge all available on Walters X Libris. There are also many benefits associated with the oil painting market, one of them being investment value. For those who can afford it, oil paintings can be a wonderful investment. Certain pieces have been known to greatly appreciate over time, making them a valuable asset to own. Another benefit of the market lies in the aesthetic value attributed to the art. People desire to live with great works of art, and beyond their investment value, oil paintings are often viewed as visually appealing and add a touch of elegance to any space to be enjoyed by collectors and non-collectors. Finally, one of the most significant benefits of the art market is its resilience and ability to pivot alongside technological advancements over time. Since the COVID pandemic, online art sales have risen to 25% of the market value, providing some much needed balance to the top heavy market. Online art sales allowed for more buyers to enter the market and created more transparency. Advancements in the mediums used by artists are also having a significant impact on the oil painting market. The increased reliability of acrylics have caused many artists to change mediums to keep up with the demand. To get a better understanding of this, I went to the Baltimore Art Gallery to speak to one of the co-founders and gain insight. Uh, my name is Kristen Wiebe and I am the co founder and operator of the Baltimore Art Gallery. I run it together with my husband, Sonny Lacey. Beautiful, yeah. awesome. So I kind of came to ask you a couple questions about the painting market mm -hmm. and the difference that mediums kind of command. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the upcoming rise in acrylics versus the historic preference for oils? Sure. I think, uh, yeah, oil painting has historically commanded a higher price than acrylics. Uh, however, uh, the, the um, 
quality of acrylic paints and all those sorts of additives that you can add to them um, have really changed that game in terms of the quality of the color, the translucency, um, the time it takes for them to dry, that all, those, all these sorts of things uh, have really been impacted by the quality of materials that are available today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so for us in this gallery, we have a mix of oil painters and acrylic painters and some mixed media folk as well. Um, one, of our, um, one of our favorite artists here is Susana Rivera and she is normally an oil painter but her work sells so fast and she paints so heavily with such a heavy texture she actually switched over to acrylics for us. Wow. So she could keep up with the demand. Wow, that's actually perfect. So yeah. you're noticing that as the kind of technologies change within painting, it's making it more accessible to artists. And Absolutely. Or feasible for selling. Absolutely. And I would say, in our gallery anyway, people are really going for the style of painting over, or the, the content of the painting instead of the medium that it's wow. painted in. So the demand is shifting. Yeah, or the people that come to our gallery, you know, we're at a, we are at a very accessible price point here, mm. kind of the, what, the gateway drug for original art. Um, and so we get a lot of first time original art buyers here, and I think that they're not so interested in, oh, is it oil, is it acrylic, mm -hmm. is it, you know, what media are we working in? Um, so, I don't know, is this helpful yeah. to answer your question? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's interesting, too, because compared to primarily in, like, the auction houses, mm -hmm. they're reselling other artists' pieces. Yeah. So that has a lot to, you know, the artists themselves can only command a certain price, and then the people who are marketing that to the other auctioneers. Yeah, and that brings up a really good point of old art, old paintings, um, because acrylics have changed in quality, the, the things that you're going to find that are antiques, historical, are going to be generally oil paintings. They are, will have hold, held up better. But the, the work that's being done today, I don't know, it probably will give oil painting a run for its money in that's terms good. of long-term mm -hmm. monetary values. In conclusion, the oil painting market is multifaceted and highly subject to a variety of economic factors. However, investing in oil paintings can be a complex but rewarding experience. While there are significant costs associated with the purchasing of these works of art, such as high prices, limited availability, and lack of transparency, there are also many benefits, including investment value, aesthetic appeal, and its resilience and ability to adapt. The art market is evolving along with technological advancements that are increasing access and transparency. As with any investment, it is important to weigh the potential risks and rewards carefully before making a purchase.